Okay, so I was kind of talking a little earlier about how I was going to go over my economy rod setup and kind of I can kind of bounce off my shoreline setup with this. Um, I've, got a, I've got a folding chair and it's just great. It's comfortable. Um, it's worth it to invest a couple more dollars to have one of these. You can lay rods on them. You can lean back and you can work jigs, crankbaits. You can work a lot of presentations and get a lot of that fatigue off your back. Um, now in particular, the rod that I was talking about was this, this Luz, this American Hero, this speed stick. It's an IM6. I've got an older Daiwa Regal on it. Great drag system. Uh, that was like a $50 reel when it, when it hit the market. It's an older reel. Again, you know, you're talking $50 rod, $50 reel for, for bass. Shoreline fishing, $100 setup is, is going to be adequate. I've got uh, a sling pack there and a chest pack. And that makes a big difference because it's better than lugging around one big thing. Um, and you can fit just about everything you're going to need uh, within those two. I mean, unless you were, you know, unless you were doing some kind of big lake fishing, um, you could probably fit everything you would need in a boat. So in essence, that's my my shoreline rod and reel setup. You got your chair, and the main thing is a reel with a good drag. Uh, make sure that reel's got a good drag. Uh, eight pound copolymer line, six and a half foot medium action rod. If you've got this kind of stuff behind you, that is really going to come into play. And you always need to have portability and an access and room. And those those two bags are going to get them. Uh, Cabela's makes some great bags that don't cost a lot of money. They run them on sale a lot too. So that's kind of what I carry around uh, for my setup. Um, that's my stitching rod, the NF footer I've been using. Um, but like I said, the main thing that main mistake a lot of people make is they'll get a reel that does not have a good drag like this when they're shore fishing. And obviously, you can see a lot of these shoreline fishing situations that we're talking about. Um, you you are talking heavy cover. If you're doing spinning rod types of presentations, uh, you obviously need some copolymer line. It's gonna be more abrasion resistant. You're not gonna lose that fish, but it's gonna get you the casting distance to get out there too. So like I said, for the most part, that's my shoreline setup. Um, and that kind of wraps up with the lose with the IM6, the economy rod. Uh, that's Frank. Uh, thanks for watching, subscribe to the channel. Take care.